I took my first loss way earlier than I would have hoped. I mean, D. Gordon was a mess. He was an abomination in the field. I don't even know what the hell that shit was from what I saw at the end of that previous game. So I'm currently 2-1, and one, and now the squad's going to have to get something going. 10 win streak is going to have to take place for this to be a successful BR run. To even be close to a, a successful BR run, I'm going to have to go on a 10 win streak, but I think I went on a 10 win streak in MLB 16 before, so it has been done. I have not done that yet in this game, but everything, something needs to always happen. Something always needs to happen at some point in time, is what I'm trying to say. So if anything's going to happen, it needs to happen in this game to start everything off. So uh, right now, I was just, I don't even know why, I don't even know why I didn't put Joaquin Benoit against that second guy. I'm pretty sure I forgot. So Joaquin Benoit is eventually inserted against Mookie Betts. There was no chance in hell I was leaving a common pitcher to uh, pitch to Mookie Betts right now. So Joaquin Benoit is in. Didn't really do that well in the previous game. I think he came in, gave up two base hits in a row. And then the guy was able to score uh, at least one run in that inning, I'm pretty sure. So Joaquin Benoit hasn't done that well so far. So Mookie Betts trying to take care of him to uh, end the first inning. I mean, this guy was uh, sitting on, well, not sitting, but he was chasing a couple things down low. And then as soon as I try and sneak in a fastball, this guy sends one over the fence. So he is going up early in this game, but it's all right to win games. You need to get something on the board, so I need to get some runs anyway. That's not too, that's not a big deal. I wasn't saying, I was just kind of, I was just kind of shaking that off. Didn't really care that much. I mean, I do have to get some runs at some point in time, so... This bastard right here needs to do something in this game. I'm telling you right now. D. Gordon starts it off with a triple right there. Stand up triple easily for D. Gordon. I was actually thinking about sending him home. I mean, it probably would have been a close play, to be honest, with that very good speed. But I'm not risking it. I mean, I do have Johnny Damon in the meat of the order coming up next. So Damon, I didn't even know how that made it so deep. And I'm not even sure why this guy made that grab. I would have let that fall foul. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if this guy just let that fall, D. Gordon wouldn't have tagged up and scored that run. This guy could have taken his chance of getting the next couple guys out. I wouldn't have made that grab. I don't know about anybody else, but this guy does make the grab in foul territory. So, D. Gordon does tag up. And I do end up tying this game. And then, Andre Dawson again, man. I'm getting under everything with D. With, uh, not D. Gordon. Andre Dawson. I'm getting under everything. I think I've flied out, out of what, how many at-bats have I had so far with them? Probably like five or six. I think I've flied, flied out in at least 90% of them. I think I've only hit something on the ground once, and it was a base hit. So, I'm, unfortunately, I haven't really done much with the 99 Andre Dawson yet, but I am hoping that this BR run isn't going to end in this game or anytime soon because the squad still has a lot to offer. Still got some people in the pen that, uh, you know, can do some damage, and I'm hoping that they're going to do the damage that's needed because this guy is going up again in this game. Another so another solo shot. That was from Johnny Bench. So, what is it? How, how much power does he have? 70-something power? And Johnny Bench sends something over the fence again. So, Mookie Betts sent a solo shot in the first inning, and then Johnny Bench is doing so in the second inning. So, here we go again. Need to make a comeback. I'm able to get the first guy... Or the second guy who came to the plate, I was able to get on base. And then Castellanos again is up. Has done pretty well so far. I mean, he does have a couple base hits right there. Isn't able to do much other than advance the runner to second base. So Wilson Ramos. I don't think this guy has done anything so far for the squad. So this is where something needs to be done. That's kind of a weak, a weak hit ball up the gut. But it does make it through the infield. And that is cashing in the tying run. So Wilson Ramos does his job. Lucas Duda is in as a pinch hitter. This is the flashback Duda with like 90-something power. High 90s power. So this guy already has two home runs on the board. Lucas Duda, able to connect with one, doesn't leave the yard. So what? <laughs> what is even going on? So this guy gets two solo shots, one with Johnny, with Johnny Bench on that was like a well, I don't even know what pitch it was it was like a splitter down and in and he sent it over the yard right there Lucas Duda connects with one that isn't leaving the yard like a couple feet short of leaving the yard so whatever it's all good 
So Duda wasn't able to give the squad the lead. We are now in the top of the fifth because nothing, nothing really happened at all in the third, fourth, or fifth. I mean, judging by the title, everyone obviously knew this was going to be a lengthy game. So no one was, no one can be surprised that the third inning wasn't showed. So this is when Zach Britton was inserted. I mean, fifth inning rolls around. This is when I put Zach Britton in the game. I was trying to just save Britton uh, for just a situation late in this game where I didn't have to, t where I didn't, you know, have the opportunity to take him out again. I wanted to leave him in as long as possible. Right there, I'm getting lucky again. Ramos comes up with the block, and then I'm able to throw that guy out, going to third base, so not able to get somebody in scoring position or advance somebody in scoring position. So, unfortunately, again, Wilson, Ra or not again, but Wilson Ramos isn't able to come up with the block right there, so he does advance a runner to second base. So a base hit can give this guy the lead, but I am making that play over there at third base, throwing him out, so it's still tied. I'm not looking for this game to go any longer, man. It is it's annoying as hell, for myself at least, when I'm sitting here playing these BR games that are going multiple innings past what they should be. Castellanos isn't able to get another base hit right there. Ground out, he put in Neshek late in this game. Or not, in the middle innings of this game, he puts in Neshek. I am not going to the bench, no chance. Especially in the previous game too, Britain was able to come up with a base hit. So Britain just uh, grounds out to third base. So that ends that inning. So now we are in the top of the sixth. This is when, this is when stuff started to happen again. So I mean, I don't know. Tony Gwynn steps up, very good hitter at the plate, but I don't know, that somehow lands in left field, so he is able to get somebody on base to lead off this inning. Pretty good speed over there first base too, so I thought for sure he was going to be taken off at some point. But he didn't on the first attempt, so you know for a fact he's going to at some point in time. Second pitch of this at bat, he is taken off. Ramos with the hose. Throws him out at second base, so Ramos is doing his job so far in this game, blocking everything pretty much, coming up with a clutch base hit, and then he throws out Tony Gwynn trying to steal uh, second base right there, so this is looking pretty good from what I'm seeing behind the plate. It seems like BR, your catchers are blocking everything, throwing everyone out, and then in ranked seasons, they can't do a single thing. They can't do a lick in ranked seasons, but right there... I'm able to get the final out of that inning, so no damage was done. So bottom of the sixth inning, Johnny Damon is up. And D. Gordon just flew out or something to begin this inning. So after the leadoff triple that D. Gordon got uh, in the first inning, he wasn't able to do much the rest of this game, which was, you know, I was hoping that D. Gordon could at least do something big in this game after what happened in the previous game, even though I don't even know why I'm really blaming D. Gordon because the fucking game, that happens to everybody when it's just, you know, a weak line drive right at your fielder and they, they won't even register on the ball. So I guess I can't really blame D. Gordon. I'm just sitting here trying to... I'm just trying to pick a scapegoat in this damn scenario right now because I took a loss way faster, way sooner than I would have hoped. But I was able to get Johnny Damon in scoring position. Fred McGriff wasn't able to cash him in. So now we're going to the seventh. And this is getting too lengthy for anyone's liking, if you ask me. There, there's no chance in hell that this game should be this long. I mean, Johnny Bench is up. He already sent something deep in this game, but I think Johnny Bench only has 30-something power against lefties, or that 87 Johnny Bench only does. So, yeah, I wouldn't. I didn't figure he was going to send another... Uh, he wasn't going to hit another home run with Johnny Bench, especially against Zach Britton right there, able to get the second out of this inning. On a ground out to short, so Tulowitzki is up, trying to sneak something in high in the strike zone because I figured this guy would have been on a bunch of pitches down low since I was giving him some sinkers, some sliders down low right there. He's able to uh, make some, he's able to square that one up, but it just is a ground ball to second base. So again, it's the second time in this game that was a sinker or something down and in. He's able to hit a weak blooper over the third baseman's head, and that lands again. So this guy's able to get the lead off guy on yet again. He needs to cash in. So this this has been every this seems to be the case in every single BR I play, man. I'm just trying to I'm just trying to claw my way out of danger, it seems, because every single person I play always gets leadoff guys on with nobody out, obviously. Leadoff guy on. What the fuck am I even saying? You get the leadoff guy on, obviously there's nobody down. And I'm just trying to claw my way out of danger. So I have to do that again in this situation. So Zach Britton, able to get the K right there. Not really sure why he didn't go to the bench. I think he did have a couple guys off the bench. I mean, there was only one down right there. That's a very sketchy call from this guy, if you ask me. Doesn't go to the bench, and then his pitcher grounds out to the inning-ending double play. 
So I would have gone to the bench. I don't think. Yeah, I I, th I definitely think this guy had some people off the bench for sure. So I'm not really sure what that guy was thinking. Maybe he just wanted to leave that pitcher in, even though it wasn't somebody crazy. Uh, he did have a, he did use a lot of his relievers, but I'm pretty sure he would have had at least a couple left at this point in time in the game. So John Jaso was in as a pinch hitter. So this is that was the day for Zach Britton. Something's gonna have to be done in the bottom of the eighth. Something needs to be done. Because Britain is out, Joaquin Benoit has already been used, so the best relievers I have so far have, are already gassed. Can't use any more of my good relievers, even though, like I've been saying, I do have some bronze. Uh, I do have, yeah, this is just some bronze relievers that are pretty good. So I'm not, I wasn't too worried. I mean, this is, uh, you know, not somebody amazing. Brandon Morrow right here is in, and he has some pretty decent pitches, man. Whenever you have somebody with a splitter, that can be very effective. So Moro is in. He did his job out of the pen, man. He did his job 100%. He sits down the side. And now we're going to the bottom of the ninth. This is not going any longer, is what I was saying. There is no chance in hell. It'll be a cold day in hell before this game goes past the ninth inning. So Johnny Damon gets the leadoff base hit. Let's go, boys. Let's get the bats moving in this game. Johnny Damon is on base to lead off this inning. Come on, Dawson, man. It's your time to shine, buddy. I will accept that. Lean into something. Dawson gets plunked. So now McGriff just needs to just needs to get a single up the gut. That's all I need, and this game will be done. So first pitch right there. I don't even know why I wasn't sitting on something like that. Slider inside. So I got a 1-1 one, one count now. This guy. I don't know if this guy had any more relievers from what I'm seeing. This guy didn't go to anybody in the pen. So that is a single up the gut, but I'm not trying to risk it. I am not trying to risk it for the biscuit right there. So I, I hold up Damon at third base, and then Castro was up next. That's not that, that's not that deep. That's still risky. If I got through this inning without getting a run, controller would have been through the television. So this is Cargo. Come on, buddy. Cargo already got a solo shot in the previous game. So Cargo, he comes through. That is what I'm saying. A clutch hit needed to be done. It needed to happen. A clutch hit needed to be done. If that even makes sense. It needed to happen. In the ninth inning, Britain gets player of the game. I don't know how you don't give that to Cargo with the game-winning hit. I mean, Britain did do all right out of the pen. He did give up two hits. Didn't have that many Ks, I don't think. But I do get the win. Uh, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed, leave a thumbs up. And I will see everybody in the next video.